<sighs> Man City versus Olympic Lyonnais. Champions League quarterfinal. One-legged, one-legged playoff, basically. On neutral ground in Portugal. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. We saw what RB Leipzig did yesterday against Atletico Madrid, right? You saw it, right? I did. You saw it. That's an upset. That's what you call an upset by an underdog. We saw what Atalanta almost did against PSG. Wasn't enough. Man City has never beaten Olympic Lyonnais. And that's a bit worrying. We had two opportunities. Couldn't beat them. We had two tries. This time we would have one. We can't play no games right about now. We cannot play no games right now. Okay? We can't act like Sega and Konami and Sony, Origin, and these companies. We, we can't play no games. We ain't about games. Basically, we are not about games here. Okay? We have to go out there and we gotta beat Leon. We gotta beat Leon. After Project Restart, we have been playing a lot of football, competitive football. Leon haven't been playing competitive football since God knows when. They played in a cup semi. No, they played in a cup final that they lost. Semi or final? Whatever. They lost. Yeah, that's the final. They lost on penalties to PSG. And they haven't been playing any competitive football up until the match against Juventus where they also lost. You get it? They haven't been in great form. They did what they had to do, but they lost. Pep Guardiola, you cannot, and I stress this, you cannot overthink. You cannot overthink this tomorrow. And you're way better than me in terms of managing and coaching. You cannot, and I stress, overthink this. You cannot overthink this. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what Pep Guardiola, I don't know what formation he's going to play. I don't know who he's going to start. I don't know. But Pep Guardiola is a kind of man that tomorrow you could see Claudio Bravo in goal. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, so... Do not overthink this, Pep. Do not overthink this, Pep. We just, we, we, we just got to go out there, play our game, play to our strengths, win the game. Stop overplaying the ball. Shoot as much as we can. I'm not saying just pull the trigger every time, but when you could shoot, shoot and stop passing. Stop trying to walk the ball into the back of the net all the time. Because the game could run away from you in the blink of an eye. Come on, stop it. This is Leon. They got some really, really good players who could hit us and hurt us on the counter. You got to keep your eye on this guy, Memphis. Maxwell Corney, if he plays, you got to keep an eye on this guy as well. A man like Bertrand Traore will be raring, will be ready to prove his point against former Premier League team because he used to play for Chelsea these guys want to make it to the semis where they will play one of Barcelona or Bayern Munich they're playing today so by the time you're watching this video you'll know who they're playing already but I don't know because I'm from the past I'm not from the future like you but Pep can't overtake this this cannot be like what happened against Monaco. This cannot be what happened against Liverpool. And it damn sure can't be what happened against Tottenham Hotspur last season where Pep overthink the hell out of this. And they, they, there was a whole lot of VR controversy, you know, in the tie. And it, it was just heart shattering. I could remember I was at work watching this game. I was in a truck. I was on overtime. And I, I got my work done. I believe I did. And I'm there watching the game. And then we score. 
Then the goal gets chalked off. Raheem Sterling, I could remember scoring if I'm not mistaken. And he's celebrating the hell out of that. And I'm celebrating, I'm telling you. And then afterwards, I'm like, what? What? Offside? No, what? 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 Where was it? Handball or something? I'm like, no. Was it an offside? I can't even remember. But we overthink the hell out of that and lost it on the away goal rule. That was the second time in three seasons we lost on the away goal rule. But there won't be no away goal rule this time around. So one off. One one. Draw or something after extra time. Penalties. Listen, doesn't matter how we do it, we have to win this game. We got to win this game. This is motivation. We're ready for them. City fans out here, this is motivation. We're ready for them, okay? Edison, got to be switched on in this game. You were great against Real Madrid. Guys, we beat Real Madrid. Imagine that. We beat Real Madrid. Champions League king themselves. We beat them. Okay? So if we knock out Real Madrid... We can get very far in this competition. And when I say far, I mean all the way to the final. We could beat any team. We are no underdogs here. We could beat any team. And this is the year. This is the year. If we do not, if we fail to win this, it's fine. But it will be a big disappointment, to be honest. Because if we fail to get to the semifinal, at least I would be so pissed off. Losing to Leon. I don't care. I don't I'm not underestimating Leon, but we should beat Leon on any day. I don't know what happened in 2018. I don't know what happened, but we failed to win. And we can't do that. We won't be with uh, we, we won't have Aguero. We won't have company this time, or you know. But we got some players who are determined and they would go out there. They would give it their all, and I trust that they would bring home a W. I trust that they would bring home a W. I want and I accept nothing less but than a W tomorrow. Nothing. Nothing less than a W. I would be so disappointed. So disappointed. And I know that's what a lot of opposition fans want to see, and it's very sad. We are the only team left from the Premier League, but instead of Premier League fans cheering us on. They're just simply hating. Bunch of haters. Take that energy and use it towards something else. Stop hating. And the fact that we got banned by UEFA and got the ban overturned, we have to win this. And we don't only have to win this to rub it in UEFA's faces, but we have to win this for ourselves. Or pride to put that CL trophy in our cabinet and sit back and say yeah boy we've done it talk to me now talk to me now talk to me baby you know what I'm saying talk to me now because that's all they have to say where's the Champions League where's the Champions League we have to go out there we gotta deliver Kevin De Bruyne, you gotta, you gotta have a big game. Sterling, Jesus, Mares, Bernardo, David Silva, Fernandinho, Laporte, Carl Walker, Mendy, Cancelo, Otamendi, Stones, Foden, Ederson. If they all feature, they all have to have a big game tomorrow. Big game, because we cannot. Afford to lose this against Olympic Leon. Too much on the line. Way too much on the line. Seriously. Way too much on the line. So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you think Man City are going to get over Olympic Leon, or if you think Leon is going to pull the upset on Manchester City. If that happens, I'll be very sad, to be honest. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it. I don't like, you know and I mean, I'm not soft or anything, but I'll be sad. I'll really be sad with that one. But I'm going to stay positive. We're going to beat Leon, and we're going to move on to the semis to face one of Bayern or Barcelona. 
and we 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 talk there. We talk then and there. Then and there we're gonna talk. Alright, so guys, I'm your boy Dominic Rich. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad.